China ultimately wants to surpass the U.S. as the dominant global superpower. China already has a lead over the United States in some aspects, but Chinese military analysts want China to do more. Boasting the world's largest naval forces and the potential to become an unparalleled naval superpower, China's maritime sector is poised for a transformative journey that will elevate its navy to heights others can only aspire to reach. Now, amidst global advancements in the military arena, the nation has unveiled ambitious plans to create a colossal supership with the potential to revolutionize the paradigms of naval warfare, altering the very way we look and engage in naval conflicts. China could soon be able to deploy a nuclear-tipped missile that U.S. defenses would find much harder to detect. Today's episode will uncover China's upcoming nuclear supership, the biggest in the world. This is Race to Space, and if you like watching content like this, consider subscribing. Rear Admiral Mao Weiming, a key figure in China's naval technology development, recently unveiled a groundbreaking concept that could revolutionize naval warfare. The Chinese military has reportedly developed new technology that improves the performance of high-energy laser systems. In a peer-reviewed paper published in the Transactions of China Electrotechnical Society journal recently, Mei and his colleagues presented a blueprint for a futuristic warship that defies conventional naval fleet structures and leverages cutting-edge technology to redefine the role of a single warship in combat. This conceptual supership combines nuclear power and electromagnetic weapons to create a naval combat system that is poised to alter the course of naval warfare. The existing paradigm of naval combat revolves around complex and costly carrier groups, such as aircraft carrier fleets. These groups are tasked with a wide range of responsibilities, making coordination and effective deployment challenging. The immense diversity of tasks these carriers handle complicates their roles, as they primarily focus on providing air support for naval operations rather than direct engagement in combat. Additionally, the conventional aircraft carrier's nuclear-powered electrical systems are primarily designed for propulsion and basic ship functions. However, the Chinese supership represents a groundbreaking departure from this traditional model. It harnesses advanced electromagnetic weapons like rail guns, coil guns, rocket launchers, laser systems, and high-powered microwaves. These high-tech weapons effectively convert the ship's nuclear power source into electromagnetic energy, which is then used to operate these formidable armaments. The capability of this supership is awe-inspiring. It can accurately defend against air attacks, engage in anti-submarine warfare, intercept missiles, and deliver precise strikes on both naval and land targets. In essence, a single supership could replace the traditional roles of an entire fleet of conventional ships. What sets this conceptual supership apart is its comprehensive nuclear-powered electromagnetic system. This system can convert nuclear energy into kinetic energy or electricity to power high-energy weapons. The electromagnetic rail guns on board have an incredible reach and can strike near space targets with guided ordnance moving at speeds up to seven times the speed of sound. Furthermore, these electromagnetic launched missiles can be automatically reloaded, significantly enhancing the ship's offensive capabilities. The electromagnetic coil guns further expand the ship's prowess in underwater attacks and defense. Laser weapons are a game changer as they transmit energy at the speed of light, allowing for pinpoint accuracy. High-powered microwave weapons, on the other hand, possess a broad impact area and can effectively counter multiple targets simultaneously. Thanks to its nearly unlimited nuclear energy supply and advanced power management system, the supership can also be equipped with powerful radars and sensors to detect enemies from much greater distances than ever before. While the paper does not provide a specific timeline for the construction of this supership, it makes clear that China is ready to transition this groundbreaking concept from the realm of science fiction to practical reality. The researchers behind the project have outlined a series of recent breakthroughs in China that lay the foundation for the ship's development, some of which have been declassified for the first time. For instance, China has developed and implemented an electromagnetic launch system for weapon payload 
payloads on various combat platforms, including vehicles, ships, and submarines. This system allows for rapid and repeated firing of missiles, offering a significant advantage over traditional missile launch systems. In a hypothetical scenario where a traditional aircraft carrier fleet is approaching the supership with the intention of launching a coordinated attack, the supership could employ its electric missile launch system to launch a barrage of missiles at the carrier fleet. The speed and accuracy of this system would make it challenging for the carrier fleet to evade or defend against the incoming missiles, potentially tilting the outcome of a naval battle in favor of the supership. China's advancement in electromagnetic launch technology is significant, especially when compared to the United States. While the U.S. has faced challenges in developing and maintaining electromagnetic launch systems, China's consistent support and investment have propelled them to a leading position in this field. They have made significant strides in areas like railguns, electromagnetic coil launch technology, and high-capacity pulse energy storage systems. These advancements have positioned China to potentially outpace its competitors in in the development of advanced electromagnetic launch systems. Despite the tremendous potential of this supership and the technological strides China has made, the mass application of electromagnetic launch technology still presents several challenges. China has taken steps to address these challenges by establishing an electromagnetic launch engineering major at its naval university. This initiative aims to cultivate talent specialized in the design, production supervision, and lifelong operation and maintenance management of electromagnetic launch equipment, marking a significant shift from a theoretical concept to practical engineering reality. China's naval power has experienced a remarkable evolution in recent decades, transforming the nation into a formidable maritime force with unprecedented influence in global waters. The nation's expanding naval power has profound geopolitical implications. It challenges the established maritime order and influences regional dynamics, especially in the South China Sea, where territorial disputes with neighboring countries persist. China's military activities in this region have triggered concerns among nations with vested interests in maintaining freedom of navigation and open seas. In addition to regional concerns, China's naval power increasingly impacts global maritime politics. Its participation in multinational naval exercises, anti-piracy missions, and peacekeeping operations demonstrates China's growing influence beyond its immediate maritime vicinity. This has elicited both cooperation and competition with other naval powers. In 2018, China held 40% of the world's shipbuilding market by gross tons, according to United Nations figures cited by the China Power Project at the Center for Strategic and International Studies, well ahead of second place South Korea at 25%. Put in a historical perspective, China's shipbuilding numbers are staggering, dwarfing even the U.S. efforts of World War II. China built more ships in one year of peacetime, 2019 than the U.S. did in four of war, 1941 to 1945. The People's Liberation Army Navy, PLAN, is slated to expand its inventory to 420 ships within the next four years, the Pentagon's annual China military report estimates. By 2030, the PLA Navy is expected to have 460 ships. The 355 estimation accounts for major surface combatants, submarines, aircraft carriers, ocean-going amphibious ships, mine warfare ships, and fleet auxiliaries. According to the report, which covers events in 2020, overall, Rear Admiral Ma Weiming and his team's conceptual supership represents a seismic shift in naval warfare. It capitalizes on advanced electromagnetic technology and nuclear power to create a vessel that can perform a diverse range of tasks, essentially replacing the need for conventional naval fleets. While the timeline for the construction of such a supership remains uncertain, China's advancements in electromagnetic launch technology indicate that they are well positioned to transform this concept into a formidable reality, potentially reshaping the future of naval warfare. With much about China's upcoming nuclear supership, the biggest in the world covered, it is time to wrap this one up. If you have any topics in mind, comment below and we will cover them for you. As always, subscribe to never miss out. This is Race to Space and we will see you in the next one.